Why did Netflix choose Microsoft as an ad service partner? Netflix has been amazing to look at as, as an outsider. It's been a story of these radical shifts in strategy. There was a, there was a switch from being well, a male, you know, movies delivered on DVD and returned to streaming. And all these different services from Disney to Hulu, I can't even name them all. Netflix realized they had to do something different. And here's the thing. The only way to literally stay at the cutting edge is to disrupt yourself. We don't know if there'll be ads before a show starts, in the middle of a show, both of them. We don't know how many ads. We don't know the price of the ad tier. The, the only thing we know at this point is that they're relying on Microsoft for a lot of the kind of the, the back end work, not anything that the customer will see. They chose Microsoft. Why? One, they are not an actual competitor to them, like Amazon is or other services that could be an actual competitor. Two, I think the real other reason is privacy. They wanna make sure that no one can hack into their services or try to figure out ways to get into their system. Microsoft provides a really good fortified system for them, so they thought Microsoft was a safe play. Number three, they wanna have access to Xandar. Xandar is a company that's focused on ad services that Microsoft bought a little bit ago so that they can use for deploying ad services back and forth. Now, my fourth reason, probably one of the biggest reasons, is open AI. The way this will work is Netflix customers will pick any movie or any video they want to see. The difference is each customer will see small little changes in the movie compared to someone else. As you watch the movie, you may see something different than maybe your friend did. You may see a bowl of cereal and your friend saw a bowl of oatmeal. Or for example, you may see a Dodge Charger and your friend saw a Tesla. All this is based on preferences of the user, generated for them in real time. So Crispy Media illustrates this. It might be a matter of time before things are changing in your content, just like they do as ads on your phone. Imagine targeted ads by brands, any brand, all determined by the computer on what it sees in the image. This is heavy duty, Doc. This is great. OpenAI has access to generative uh, video and, and text and pretty much any other thing they need to help change their videos. Right, it, it was news to me that Microsoft had a versioning ad service. You know, how, uh, is this a step towards some broader goal here of, you know, taking on some of its competitors? Let's start from the beginning. Netflix trying to do something a little different. They were the top, they beat Blockbuster and all these other companies. It took Blockbuster almost five years to introduce its own DVD by mail service and even longer to scrap late fees. There's a better way to rent movies. Go to Netflix.com, make a list of the movies you want to see, and in about one business day, you'll get three DVDs. Keep them as long as you want, without late fees. Then when you're done, look, prepaid envelopes. Return one, and they'll send you another movie from your list. Netflix. All the movies you want, 20 bucks a month, and no late fees. But some people may think, oh, this is horrible because they're just putting in ads into your videos. I see something different. Let's start from the beginning. The way it works is if Netflix is trying to integrate Microsoft, they had a lot of agencies to go to. They chose Microsoft. Why? Because Microsoft has some access to something the other companies don't. Open AI. Open AI has access to DALI 2, a literally a generative system that can generate things in real time. So for example, if there is a Pepsi for one person, but Coke for another, or if there's a product of a particular car they want, they change the car in the actual video so that the person wants to buy that particular car. Well, Netflix still isn't saying an awful lot about how it will work for its customers. Now, they didn't say how they're gonna do this, and I know why they didn't. Why would Netflix give their competitors a huge advantage on what kind of ad services they're going to use. As a matter of fact, Netflix don't want anyone to know. Netflix announced three months ago on their earnings call that they were getting an ad business. They still haven't hired a head of ad sales. So the notion that you have no one in the empire that's an expert in advertising yet, and yet they've picked an ad partner for the technology stack is backwards. It's not about the actual ad itself because the ad companies will pay for whatever spot they can get into any video, is really about what kind of technology that will truly place them at a cutting edge, that would give Netflix an edge 
over all their competitors. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you next one.